morning, my carrots. Good morning, you guys. Hopefully the lighting fixes itself. All right, so it's like 9.15 in the morning. I've already opened up all the curtains, let the dogs out, fed the dogs. I got my coffee, put all the plant lights on, the plant humidifiers. Yeah, kind of just taking it easy. <clears throat> if you guys watched my last video, then you know, this is one of those upsides I was talking about, about working for yourself. You don't have to rush. Kind of just take the mornings easy, which is nice if you want to. This is the oldest one that I was just telling you about. This is Armada. She is a Chihuahua, but she's a Chihuahua mix. They're both fantastic dogs. Don't let Chihuahuas fool you. People hear the name Chihuahua, and I think they immediately think of those like bug-eyed, bark nonstop, aggressive, little tiny dogs. Chihuahuas, good Chihuahuas, bred well are adorable. They are just like little mini dogs. They do definitely have um, a prey drive for sure. They're cool, I love them. That's why I have two. I would have, <clears throat> I would show you my other one. Nova, come here. You come here for a second, please. This is my other one. This is Nova and she is a purebred Chihuahua. So she is a purebred normal Chihuahua. You can see her eyes are a little bit more bugged and she does have that actual purebred, purebred Chihuahua body. So she's a lot huskier than my other one, but she, is about six years old and the first one is 11. I got her when my husband went to Afghanistan the first time. Ooh, that's the first time I've said that out loud. My husband's deploying again, which I thought was, I thought we were over that, but I guess not. Yeah, that's the first time I've said that out loud. My husband's deploying again, which is fine. It is what it is. But when he went to Afghanistan, that's when I got Armada. And we got married in between his deployment of Afghanistan. And we've been married coming up on 11 years this July. So she is almost 12, which is absolutely crazy. Everybody thinks the other one is way older. I don't know why, but the all black skinny one is 11 and the chunky purebred chihuahua is about six, which is crazy. So anyways. I wanted to have my watermelon breakfast. I was so excited. You guys saw me cutting it up, but as soon as I touched it, I knew. I felt that, just that little bit of film that comes on certain fruits like watermelon when it goes bad. And I was gonna eat that whole thing for breakfast. I think I've told you guys before how bad my diet is. I was gonna eat all that watermelon and coffee for breakfast. But as soon as I started cutting it up, I tried one. It was no good. It almost tasted like what I think like honeydew melon or like cantaloupe tastes like, which I do not like that stuff. So it was definitely bad. So I had to throw all that watermelon away, which is such a bummer and ate some blueberries. I do eat blueberries pretty much every single day, but I am particularly picky with my blueberries. I prefer the Driscoll's, what are they called? They're like the extra large blueberries. They're friggin' huge, they're like this big, and it's like seven bucks for one little package, but those are my favorite. The bigger, the better. I love blueberries, eat those every day. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. I was just telling a subscriber this last night. I talk to you guys like I talk to my friends on Snapchat. So I'm sorry if you don't like the blabbing, but I'm sorry, you guys are my friends now and this is how it goes. <laughs> I'm gonna talk at you and you must listen. All right, so anyways, we've got a ton to do today. Number one on the list, I've got a broken nail. We gotta fix that. That way I can go tanning because I don't like to go in public if my nails are looking ratchet. But most importantly, we gotta get some work done. So I know I told you guys I was taking a break from doing restocks, which is true. I am taking most of my time to focus on you guys, YouTube, making content, but I was kind of missing the restocks. I was like, I don't know, feeling kind of empty. So I'm gonna do a restock, a very small one on Monday. Right now I've got a few pieces cut. I've got a few leaves, my Alocasia Amazonicas or Alocasia Polys. 
I've got some Monstera's cut. I've got like six night lights, my cover pots, which if you guys want to see how I make my cover pots, let me know. I do want to figure out a way to be able to share my designs with you guys. What website, what app or whatever can we use that I can like upload my designs to and share them with you guys? So like if you guys want my exact size cover pot stencils, I can send them right to you. I don't know. You guys will have to comment down below if you guys know what I could use to do that. So I've got a couple of those cut out, a couple of my plant frames, a couple new designs, and I want to get a couple more sun catchers cut out. Get them ground wrapped in. Theoretically, I want to try to get at least one or two pieces soldered today. That way I have something to post. So like I said, yeah, I push my restock to a Monday and it's already Wednesday. So we've got to try to get as quick as we can some pieces ground, wrapped, soldered, and ready to photograph. That way I have content to actually promote this coming restock with because i don't really like to post old pictures but sometimes you got to do what you got to do but i want some of my new designs to be posted a few days before the actual restock so we've got work to do so again i gotta fix my nail go tanning get these pieces finished cut ground wrapped and hopefully a couple foiled so yeah that's on today's docket we should just get to work i'm going to finish my cup of coffee and we'll start cutting some glass Okay guys, so it is now noon. I've got to get this nail fixed. Come on girls. But first I gotta let the dogs out because like I said, it's noon time and I always let them out at noon. They know what time it is all times day, which is super weird, but I'm just in the middle of making so many new designs. Oh, and can you guys see what this is? I picked it up, so we will be doing the kaleidoscope airplane soon. So many of you guys said that you did want to do that together. So I'm telling you right now, if you want to make the kaleidoscope airplane, I'll link it down below from Amazon so we can make it together if you guys still want to do that. I know I asked you months ago, but time goes by fast on YouTube. So girls are outside. We got to get this nail fixed, get to tanning, come back, grind the glass, start wrapping and soldering if we've got time. I've replaced my thumbnail, which means I can go tanning. So I've got my grinder and my zephyr ready to go. That way, as soon as we get back, we can just get right into grinding. I very quickly threw on some sweatpants and a t-shirt. I don't particularly like wearing sweatpants in public, but because we're just going tanning, I don't mind. I do take off my rings to go tanning, but all my other jewelry stays on. So before we go, just really quickly, I did want to mention something. Yes, I'm going tanning. Yes, it's 2022 and we do very well know the repercussions of tanning in a tanning bed. Skin cancer is very real. It's awful. It's scary and you have to be okay with the repercussions that come with tanning in a tanning bed sometimes. So if you're not going to wear SPF, if you're going to fake tan, you have to be okay with the reality that skin cancer is very much on the table. And while I don't promote going tanning, I do promote doing anything that makes you happy. And for me, seasonal depression is a thing. For me, translucent skin, blue purple veins is a thing and tanning takes that away. Tanning makes me happy and I'm pro doing whatever makes you happy as long as you're not hurting anybody else. So again, I don't promote tanning but I do promote doing whatever makes you happy as long as you're not hurting somebody else. So just be aware, tanning, it can give you skin cancer. It's bad, it's not good, but it does make me happy so I do it. Alrighty guys, we are on our way. It is chilly. Oh, I guess it's not that bad. Car says it's 52 degrees. Spring is definitely, definitely here. Okay, so let's get to the tanning salon. That way we can hurry up, get back, and get some work done. Okay, so back home in my garage I don't have any other errands or anything to run because I did all my grocery shopping and small errands yesterday so 
Tanning's the only thing we needed to worry about. So now, let's just get back inside, get this glass ground, and see how much we can actually get done with the rest of today. It's about 1.15, so we do have plenty of time. Fingers crossed we can get enough done so I have something to post on my Instagram. Okay guys, so it is now 3.30. I want to take a shower, rinse off all the glass shards because even if you cannot see them, there are glass shards all over you, I promise. I don't like dragging that through the house. I don't want one of my dogs to get a piece of glass stuck in their foot or something because those tiny pieces of glass that you can't see are the worst ones to get. So I'm gonna go rinse off all the glass. I've got all of my ground glass in a water bucket next to the sink ready to be rinsed after we take a shower. I put away both my grinders, the grinder and the zephyr, clean them both out. So when we get out of the shower, all we have to do is rinse the glass, bring it back over to my table, and we can start wrapping everything in copper foil. And so I can figure out what I want to post tonight on Instagram. So yeah, going pretty good so far. It's 3.30 and if you're curious, I've been watching the A&E Playboy documentary. If you haven't been watching it and you want to, you're lucky because so many episodes have already come out. They come out every Monday. It's such an interesting show, the a &E Playboy documentary. What is it called? Secrets of Playboy. Right now, I'm on episode 11 and it is so good. Episode 11 is all about the twins who I vividly remember. And it's so crazy because growing up, Playboy was the ultimate goal. I remember being a little girl. I literally remember being a little girl and wanting to be in Playboy. It's so gross to think about now, but whatever. I'm gonna go take a shower, keep watching episode 11. When I get out of the shower, I'm gonna rinse that glass, bring it here, and we'll keep working. I do need to eat something. Yes, I know I haven't eaten yet, it's 3.30, but it is what it is. I'll eat when I get out of the shower. Okay, so as you can see, I've got all my glass here ready to go. Everything's nice and clean. I myself am nice and clean. I just took a shower. I think, so, what time is it? It is 5.07 now. It's already 5.07. And I think what I'm gonna do is just decorate my night lights, photograph those, and post that. So I'm not gonna be able to get anything done today. There's no way I could get anything done soldered in time. The sun's already set, and everything I work with is iridescent. And to photograph iridescent glass, you need sunlight. That's a fact. That's a question I get all the time, actually, how to photograph, and it's hard to describe. So lighting is key. Lighting, controlling the lighting, controlling the brightness is key, and you need sunlight. No artificial lighting is gonna do it. A light box, soft box, light bars, anything, it's not going to replicate what the sun does. You need the sun to photograph iridescent glass correctly or well. So because I work with all iridescent glass, Sun's already just about to set. It's been a cloudy day anyway, so I think what I'm gonna do is, like I said, just decorate these night lights, photograph them even though they're not done because people do like to see the works in progress and try to get as much as I can wrapped in foil. So yeah, I'm going to decorate my night lights, try to wrap as much as I can, but again, it's already past five, so we'll see how much we get done. But I'll be watching YouTube videos meantime. Time for the time lapse. Okay, 
So I finished decorating my nightlights. It is now six o'clock literally already. It's 5.58 and I'm really hungry. I don't feel like cooking any dinner. I don't feel like cleaning because I am gonna keep working and I'm kind of craving McDonald's. I know it's so bad, but I'm so hungry. I want something now. I'm craving it, so we're gonna go get it. So let's go get some McDonald's. We're gonna eat it and then we're gonna keep working. Okay. So, I literally get the same thing every single time I go to McDonald's. I don't know why I do that, but it's like, I'm very much that way with food in general. I am kind of a picky eater, and I do eat a lot of junk food. So, like, I get in moods of eating the same thing, and every time I go to McDonald's, I get the same thing. You'll hear what I get in a second. Hi, how Hi, can I have a McDouble with extra pickles and a small fry? Anything else? That's it. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. And now that I'm talking about food, I'm so hungry. I told you guys though, I'm shocked I wasn't like starving around lunchtime because I did eat something kind of for breakfast, which is pathetic. I'm still pissed about my watermelon. All right, hopefully it won't be too long because it's a small order, but there's a long line. Can you go through a window, please? Just to this window? Yeah. Yeah. They must be having some issues. I think just like everywhere right now, for some reason, nobody wants to work nowadays. Literally, nobody wants to work anymore. Everywhere is hiring. The hiring sign is up right now. And McDonald's should be your starting first kind of job. You know what I mean? Hi, can I have sweet and sour sauce and ranch? Yep. If you don't got ranch, don't worry about it. No worries. Thank you. You too. Well, I was going to try ranch. But of course, he didn't have any, and I didn't want to make him walk in the back. I told him it was fine. But figures, the one time I'm like, I want to fucking try ranch on my McDouble. Switch it up. They don't fucking got it. All right, I'll see you guys in a minute when we're back home. You can see right here, Project Branding Wardell, full size patterns for 30s Definitely did not eat all my fries. I ate a few of them, but at least I was able to eat the whole McDouble. Yeah, I know, I eat like a bird. That absolutely hit the spot. So, what time is it now? 6.33, we gotta get back to work. Okay, so, dinner break is over. Time to get back to work. I'm still gonna be working on basically the same things I was talking about earlier. It is now 6.40. Let's see how much we can get wrapped. off my filming lights because it was starting to hurt my eyes but it is 806 now and I think I'm gonna stop working I could definitely work a whole lot more but I'm not gonna lie I want to play some Elden Ring so because I was painting and working some more I'm gonna take another shower just showering helps me kind of wind down and like separate the day of work and trying to relax and go to bed because I work from home. I'm gonna take another shower, think I'm gonna play some Elden Ring and wrap my day up. So I'm gonna go do that. I'll show you guys my Elden Ring character in a minute. Okay, I am <clears throat> in my husband's room now because I play on his computer and it's nine o'clock. So we'll see if I can play for a little bit. Then I'm probably gonna get a bowl of ice cream and watch Portlandia. I love Portlandia, it's so stupid and funny and I haven't watched it in a long time so I've kind of been re-watching it. So I'm gonna try to play a little bit of Elden Ring, get some ice cream, cause I get ice cream with a ton of sprinkles. You guys are gonna die when you see how many sprinkles I put on my ice cream. But I'll eat ice cream, watch Portlandia and go to bed. So I'm gonna show you guys my character real quick. Tell you guys how long I've played so far, which isn't that bad at all. Okay, so I've played for 101 hours and I'm level 92. I guess technically pure astrologer build too. Let me show her to you guys and get some playing in. All right, here is what I look like. I know, I'm an astrologer, but it is what it is.
Okay guys, so now it's only 10.45, but I'm so tired for some reason. I just ended up like doing random little mini side quests in the game, but I'm freaking tired. So I think I'm just going to get my nightly bowl of ice cream and extreme amount of sprinkles and watch some Portlandia and go to sleep. Let's go get some ice cream. Okay guys, I was not kidding when I said I like a lot of sprinkles. I pretty much like a little bit of ice cream with my sprinkles. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like that. It's not like sprinkles have a particularly amazing flavor or anything. It's just the super crunchiness that happens because of it. It's such a good texture when you fill your ice cream with sprinkles. So it's 11 o'clock, but I'm pretty freaking tired. So yeah, I think that's it for today's video, guys. I'm just going to eat my sprinkles and ice cream, brush my teeth, and watch some Portlandia and go to sleep. Nothing crazy, but this is a normal day in my life as a full-time stay-at-home self-employed artist so i know this video is definitely very different than what i normally do so you have to comment down below let me know did you like this video if you didn't really what do you want to see next so yeah as always guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video if you did comment down below let me know what do you want to see next and i'll see you guys next time bye